Hello, happy believers. I sketched this painting in December 2019. And by the time I started painting it, it was April 2020. And the COVID-19 pandemic was starting to get serious. I just thought it was so apt for the time. It spoke to me of PPE equipment, masks and fear. I think it sums up the early stages of COVID-19 visually for me of that time. But it also tells another story. So come on, happy believers, let us continue. Okay, we say happy believers, but are we? Do we feel it or do we say, hmm, no, I'm not? So let's explain. As believers, we live by faith, not by feelings. For our life is a matter of faith, not sight. 2 Corinthians 5 7. The way we put it is, we live as a believer in whatever situation the Lord has us in, good, bad, or indifferent. We are always happy to believe in God. Nevertheless, each person should live as a believer in whatever the situation the Lord has assigned to them, just as God has called them. This is the rule I lay down in all the churches. 1 Corinthians 7.17 For I know I have the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29.11 It does not mean we are constantly happy, because happiness comes and goes, but joy and peace is what we can experience more and more, because they are two fruits of the Holy Spirit. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Philippines 4 7. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be full. John 15 11. We do believe, we do trust. It's just sometimes we're just called to have more belief and trust. You keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts in you. Isaiah 26, 3 Jesus, we believe in you. Help us to believe in you more. Jesus, we trust in you. Help us to trust in you more. Jesus, we love you. Help us to love you more. Jesus, we thank you, etc., etc. The mask suggests hiding behind, like a bear lying in waiting, like a lion in hiding, Lamentations 3.10, and the fact it's black and solid. But solid food is for the mature, who by constant use have trained themselves to distinguish good from evil. Hebrews 5.14 Its blackness suggests fear and darkness. Even though I walk through the valley, the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Psalm 23, 4 Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9 The reason one eye is larger than the other is because sometimes we can see things differently. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Corinthians 4.18 Faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Hebrews 11.1 The eye is the lamp of the body. So, if your eye is healthy, your whole body will be full of light. Matthew 6.22 Sometimes we can feel divided, even to the extent of a feeling of a split personality. The Apostle Paul wrote, I want to do what is right, but I can't. I want to do what is good, but I don't. I don't want to do what is wrong, but I do it anyway. Romans 7, 18, 19. Like we could say, feeling opposites. Good, bad, happy, sad, 
love, hate, Jacqueline Hyde, fear, courage. Ecclesiastes 3 tells us there is a time for everything and a season for everything, for every activity under the heavens. Even though this mask is fierce looking and the eyes are intense, everything lurking behind it is good. So Samuel told him everything, hiding nothing for him, from him. Then Eli said, He is the Lord. Let him do what is good in his eyes. 1 Samuel 3.18 Today, wanting to stand up for truth, wanting to stand up for what we believe in, is like coming out of the closet, coming out behind our mask and saying, I am a Catholic. I believe in Jesus. And he's alive in the Eucharistic host and it's wonderful. As soon as all the people saw Jesus, they were overwhelmed with wonder and ran to greet him. Mark 9, 15. For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword. Hebrews 4, 12. But today that takes courage. But people are stepping up and stepping out for their Catholic faith. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened. Do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9 More and more people are standing up for Jesus, who they believe in. Arise, for it is your task, and we are with you. Be strong and do it. Isaiah 10.4 It's time to come out from hiding, the silent army of Christ. Let our light shine. Let us stand up and be counted. No one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. Matthew 5, 13. Jesus says, He is the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness but will have the light of life. John 8, 12. And what makes this possible is, the Spirit of God who is in you is greater than the Spirit who is in the world. 1 John 4, 4. We all need to have a sense of belonging. As Catholics, we belong to the Church, to the Eucharistic Jesus. People are returning to their Church and faith. They're seeking the truth, the seeking Jesus in the Eucharist. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it. The world and all the people belong to him. Psalm 24, 1. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit is, there is freedom. 2 Corinthians 3, 17. So, if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. John 8, 36. For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God. Not as a result of works, so that no one may boast. Ephesians 2, 8, 9 Everything we have comes from God. So we can't claim anything as our own. Everything on earth originates from God. This painting was inspired by the famous healing icon, in the Icon Chapel in Glenstall Abbey in Munro, County Limerick. The eyes of Christ drew me to this. As I think of Christ's gaze from the icon, is quite intense, as if Christ's real eyes are within the gaze. One thing I ask of the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. Psalm 27, 4 And large crowds came to him, bringing with them those who were lame, crippled, blind, mute, and many others, and they laid them down at his feet, and he healed them. Matthew 15, 30 And I tell you, you are Peter, And on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. 
Matthew 16, 18. Next painting, very, very soon. Until then, remember, the Eucharistic Jesus is real.